So at the coronation of King Charles III, why did this picture of the UK's foreign secretary with Tunisia's Minister of Foreign Affairs cause so much backlash? And if you're not aware of what's been happening in Tunisia, we'll quickly explain that in this video as well. But firstly, about that picture. Tunisians and political analysts have accused the UK of cozying up with a representative of Tunisia's repressive regime, saying that the picture sends the wrong diplomatic signals. Particularly at a time when Tunisia's president Qais Saeed has been imprisoning and putting pressure on many of his critics in the country, including the families of British Tunisian nationals. British Tunisian Kouthar Fajani is the daughter of Saeed Fajani, a prominent figure in the al Nahda opposition party and an outspoken critic who was imprisoned by Qais Saeed's government back in February. Kouthar stated that the UK's Foreign Secretary James Cleverly is embracing a man that stands for human rights abuses in Tunisia and racism and fascism towards black African migrants. Also recently imprisoned by Qais Saeed's government is Rashid Ghannouchi, the head of the Anahda opposition party in Tunisia. He was arrested during a raid on his home last month on charges that his daughter Yusra Ghannouchi, also a British Tunisian, called laughable fabricated charges. So on the backdrop of these recent arrests, people like Kouthar Fajani and academic Monica Marx say James Cleverley's picture sends a message of indifference towards or even actively supports Qais Saeed's crackdown on civil society and opposition, with many critics now referring to Qais Saeed as a dictator. And just weeks earlier, a protest was held outside the Tunisian embassy in London, attended by some of the families of the imprisoned critics of President Qais Saeed, including the children of Rashid Ghannouchi and Sayyid Fajani. The London demonstration called for democracy and freedom of political prisoners, some of whom are imprisoned for as little as a critical Facebook post. But what about President Qais Saeed's narrative? Well, he says that the opposition are corrupt and that they are the ones bringing the country to the ground. Yet since July 2021, when Qais Saeed suspended parliament and dissolved the government, Tunisia has faced a deep political crisis and the economy has been on a sharp decline. In the past few months, over 30 political activists, lawyers and judges have been arrested and accused of conspiring against national security. The usual charges that dictators all around the Arab world use, which is conspiracy against state security, which carries a maximum sentence of uh, the death penalty. And Amnesty International has described these recent crackdowns as a politically motivated witch hunt. 